I will now um, welcome Bill McCutcheon. If you really need to come, please come up now. Um, Bill has um, been a member of our steering committee for this project um, from the get-go and uh, was instrumental in getting this going. Um, so without further ado, I'll pass over to you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, thanks it's great to uh, see, uh, see so many people here and, and so much interest, thanks, that's, uh, that's great. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, Chris asked me a couple years ago what we could do for agriculture, and uh, you know, everybody seems to be concerned with, uh, with people to grow crops and not to grow livestock, so I said, why don't we do something for the, uh, for the livestock guys, because a, a lot of you guys that are producing uh, uh, freezer orders are really bucked your butt getting out of the, getting out of the county and, and uh, trying to uh, provide a you know, a product to uh, to your consumers that are there, and, and there seems to be uh, lots of local demand. And as uh, Chris has said, with the uh, with the pandemic, it's really exaggerated that. So we want to see if we could uh, help with the efficiency of movement of livestock end of, of products, so that we uh, we aren't moving it all over the place. And uh, I mean, the reason that I think a lot of uh, there's a whole lot of reasons why why consumers want to buy locally, but one of it is there's less touch points. The way it is now, I'm afraid there's not that touch point. So we got to kind of work on that and and, uh, and make that actually a reality. So um, certainly it would uh, you know streamline the process and encourage uh, more producers if they wish to uh, to sell product locally and and uh, let uh, consumers have opportunity to buy uh, buy locally and uh, uh, at, a, at a central spot. I mean I'm I'm pretty excited about the retail end of, of what we're doing because there's lots of uh, Consumers out there that are maybe a little reluctant to buy, uh, you know, half lamb or half pork or quarter beef because, uh, first of all, they may not have room in, the, in their freezers, and, and they, uh, you know, they want to try it out. So maybe they can try it a cut. Hopefully, that would uh, drive business uh, to uh, to producers to, to buy uh, bigger quantities of, of product and need more more volume. So. Um, I think uh, you know if we can uh, we can work together on this and and uh, we could maybe have something uh, pretty unique uh, in uh, in either Shelburne or Wenzel or perhaps Grand Valley. We haven't really got that far where we want to have this facility, but uh, it'll be up to the uh, the uh, shareholders of uh, of the uh, company, the cooperative, um, on where they go uh, with that. So um, I'm not sure I've got a whole lot more to say than that, but uh, if there's any questions. Then you 